Hello everyone. In this quick tutorial, I want to teach you, share my experience basically with the Visual Studio project um, and the SQL Server. A sim simple SQL Server error that the stored procedure is not available. The stored procedure name such and such is not available. Although the stored procedure is there and the project was running fine with that stored procedure in a CRUD operation. So I will share my experience. So let's switch over to now the Visual Studio and recreate the scene where I found the error and how I sorted it out. Okay, after brainstorming for a long time, I found it a small error and how you could possibly debug in your career as a software developer or as a hobby programmer or a student. So let me share my experience. Just stay till the end to get the uh, my, you know, to share my brain with you, okay? So, so here I have run a project that actually creates an API. So API has to run first in order for this API client. This is a client project and this is the API project. So both has to run on Visual Studio 2019. So there is the project, but my, um, the purpose of my lecture is not to show the project and explain about the nitty gritties, but to show what I found. So I found when I run this project, okay, and click here. Now, if I, this is a customer's page from a customer model, this is a CRUD project, okay. So ID, name, address, telephone, email, update and delete. You can do all these sorts of things. And you can go to the order page. So, so order is there with the customer ID as the foreign key. And if I wish to get the order by an ID, get order, I get to this order page. And if I click on two, get the order by the order ID two. So what was happening is that if you click get order, it was coming up with this error system.data.sql.sql client.sql exception could not find the stored procedure dbo.sp select order by id okay so it was looking it was looking for this stored procedure and i was confident because it was working a while so dbo.sp select order by id so i kept on looking and i was just confused why it was not working because it was work, working a few minutes earlier but somehow some due to some weird reason this spelling got changed which i discovered after a lot of troubleshooting and brainstorming that you can see here the stored position name is sp select not order r is missing so select or order by id so that's why this error was coming so when I could find it out, what I did was actually just stop this program and I will show you again the correct way that it is working. Now that I've shown you the problem, I have, and this to troubleshoot this took me sometimes, you know, it, it takes as you are an experienced developer. So those of you who are experienced, I guess not all of you maybe, but for those of you who are experienced enough, you might find that these are silly mistakes, typo, but these we can cost us hours, but you don't leave home. So what I did was to rename the stored procedure with the correct uh, name, SP select order by ID. And then when I clicked on the start button, so my API is running. So my client, which consumes this API, which is the ASP.NET Core MVC application is ready. Now with these changes, if I click on go to order page and get order and if I click on to get order with order ID 2, so it gets me the correct order. So that was the diagnostics that I carried out. Hope you enjoyed this video and if it helps you in troubleshooting, please subscribe to my channel and uh, give your likes and comments and share this video with others. Thank you.